what's going on guys? Today, I'll be showing you everything you need to know to play 2.6 in 2024. Okay, we're up against the Lava Hound deck. We have a pretty bad cycle, no Musketeer yet. So this could be a little bit hard to defend. I know a lot of people struggle against Lava Hound with Hog Riders, so I'll try to show you guys how to win. Hopefully we don't lose our tower right away. Okay, we have no way to stop this Lava Hound, we just have to focus on the Mega Minion. We can pull it with the Ice Spirit and then just kite it using the Ice Golem. If they don't go for a Balloon, you can usually just kite their air troops. The Lava Hound itself does do some chip damage, but not too much. And we're already up quite a bit of damage ourselves anyways. I'll Fireball this Lava Hound. It's not usually good to Fireball the Lava Pups, but if you have no Ice Golem or anything good, it's okay. He could try to Balloon, we'll see. Okay, I guess not. You do also have to be kind of mindful of when you go in for your Hog Riders. Normally, if they Lava Hound, but I don't want to go for it right now because if you're already up in damage, it's usually fine just to cycle the Musketeer early and try to get two of them down in case they Fireball Zap the first one. We could have a nice push going with our Evo Skellies. I'll play the High Cannon first and then now we can go for the Hog Evo Skellies. If he tries to overcommit with this push, he's dead. He has to Zap too on defense. Perfect. Now he has no elixir to support this. Fireball should take everything out. Yeah, very easy defense. You don't want to play complete defense. You do also want to apply a bit of pressure just to keep them on their toes. But you can see you also do want to make sure you set up those musketeers early. We can pull this back with the hog. He has no barbs now, so what is he going to do against it? Against Lava Hound, you do also kind of want to see what your opponent's tendencies are, so you can go for maybe something like a Prediction Fireball on Barbarians if they always go for it on the same placement. We pretty much just have to defend this Lava Hound push here. It's not too hard as long as you space out your Musketeer and Cannon. We can Fireball this one Skelly Drag just to put his tower in Fireball range. I'll go for a second Musketeer, kind of low, so we can't Fireball both of them. We're going to need another Fireball as well. Actually, no, we don't need it. We don't need it. That's going to die, I think. We can Fireball this instead. Wait. Wait, hold up. No, we're all good. <laughs> okay. A little bit close, but pretty easy win. Didn't have to be that close. We're up against Joseph Light, but for some reason it's very dark still. <laughs> I always like to go for the Hog first play with 2.6. It's even better to go for Ice Golem Hog first play if you have it in cycle. I would only recommend experienced Hog players to go for Ice Golem and Hog first play because if your opponent goes for a Sparky or a Mega Knight, you're kind of dead unless you play pretty much perfect defense. I'll cycle the Ice Golem. I don't know exactly what he has yet, so I just want to... Oh, the Sparky. Okay. And he has barbs too. This might be a little bit tough to break through, but still one hog hit. We can just go for the cannon. It's going to counter the barbs, then also kill the Sparky after, hopefully. Interesting fireball. He has no elixir now to do much with this Sparky. <laughs> this guy's having the time of his life. <laughs> Most respectful Sparky player. <laughs> One of my best tips for playing against Sparky is to BM them after you win. Okay, a little bit of an early log, but it's okay. Sometimes it's good to take the chances. At least if it's a low risk, high reward prediction. Bit of damage for him, but not too bad. I don't mind going same lane in this matchup anyways. You can always fireball a Sparky. We do have to fireball this pump though. Gonna be a negative one trade. But in double elixir or sometimes triple elixir you can get a double fireball and a log to kill a Sparky if you don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Dude this guy will not stop. I'll go for the early cannon. You always want to go for the cannon like this if they have fireball so they can't fireball the strong side. No the weak side tower and your cannon. <laughs> okay, we just have to go for this Ice Golem to make sure the Spear Goblins of the Goblin Giant don't kill our cannon. I think we're fine here. Gonna also log for good measure. We can get another Musketeer down. 
Sometimes in this matchup, you don't even have to play many Hog Riders. You can just pretty much defend and Fireball Cycle. <laughs> I'll Fireball this Sparky. We'll see if he decides to pump up or if he's going to try to make a push with this still. Okay, he's going in. We can't really deal with the pumps very well either way, though. Okay, so we can go for the Ice Spirit here, then Evo Skeletons. He's going to have to zap. Oh, he missed! <laughs> he missed. <laughs> this guy is so busy BMing that he's not playing well at all. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice when you face an opponent that BMs because then they kind of just start misplaying their cards. I mean, we've all been there where we tried to emote and accidentally played a card. Gonna take the fireball. We're looking pretty good. Okay, we can't really kill that pump though. Can't push either into that sparky. It's fine. It's almost triple elixir. Well, not quite, but soon enough it will be so. I'm not too worried. Pretty aggressive goblin giant. Gonna musketeer. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna hit it. No. Come on, Evo Skellies, do your thing. Oh, he missed a little, I think. Oh, the musketeer! Fireball. <laughs> I told you guys, we have to BM him. I'm not gonna fireball his tower until I'm done BMing him. <laughs> wait, hold up, this is actually kind of sketchy. I think he has Fireball and Cycle too. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, he does. But that's not enough. We can log this back. He's in Fireball range, so we just have to <laughs> get a good BM right now. <laughs> I'll Fireball these barbs. Dude, I'm kind of scared right now that I might accidentally choke. Hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um... Oh, he missed. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to take his tower until I'm done BMing. Oh, the log. Okay, okay. Okay, now we can Fireball. <laughs> Probably the new easiest win of my life. Guys, I don't condone BMing like that, but sometimes if you face a sparky player who BMs you, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy here runs Minor Cycle. Hopefully with bats and not magic archer. If he has magic archer, this will be pretty much impossible. If he has bats, it's not going to be easy, but you have a chance. You can't really break through the bomb tower, but you just have to try to outcycle it, mainly in single elixir. We can go in. He doesn't have bomb tower yet. Now he does. We should be able to slowly outcycle him, though. You want to try to outcycle your opponent, but you also have to be a bit smart with your cards because sometimes people try too aggressively to outcycle, and their hog riders that do outcycle the bomb tower still get countered pretty easily with something like Bats Log. I really hope he has Bats. I feel like he might not. Dude, if he has Magic Archer, we're so dead. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't. Gonna Evo Skellies this end log as well. He is just barely holding on, but he has to respond to our Evo Skellies as well. Wait, hold up! Oh, he has a level 14 Tornado! <laughs> Let's go! Some players purposely keep their Tornado at level 14, so it's easier to activate King Tower against Graveyard, but... We just won now, because of that. Good game. We got a match. You do want to cycle the Evolved Skeletons a lot with 2.6 early on. Even though they can die to Zap or Log or any small spell, you can still get so much value out of them sometimes because half the time people miss their spells on them and the other half of the time they just don't have it in cycle. Very few people actually keep track of Evolved Skeletons. I'm pretty sure this guy is running either E-Golem or Golem. Hopefully E-Golem. E-Golem will be a bit better than Golem. I think he has the defensive version of E-Golem. It probably will be E-Golem. Yeah, there it is. So against E-Golem, you kind of just have to separate their push. Either you have to pull stuff to different sides, like their support troops away from their E-Golem, or you can just kite it like this. We should be fine here because the battle healer isn't going to heal that much. It's nice to have Ice Golem instead of a Knight or something, so the healer doesn't get as many heals off. Very easy defense. We have our Evo Skellies too, but I don't want to go in for them. We can just Hog Rider. 
Maybe we can use Evo Skellies for defense if we need it. Nice one hog hit. Musketeer will pretty much kill the knight too. I'll Musketeer in the back. You don't want to cycle your Evo Skeletons like normal Skeletons a lot of the time. It's better just to surprise your opponent with them. He's probably not expecting them. Healer won't do too much here. Musketeer should kill it and force out something. We can Ice Spirit and just Hog Rider as well with this. Musketeer might kill the Little Prince too. Okay, not quite. We'll see if he tries to get an ability down here or not. Okay. We can go in again because you pretty much just want to constantly spam in these types of matchups. And have pretty tight defense as well. Okay, wait, this might be kind of bad. Edreg is pretty much full HP already. Oh no. Okay, this might be bad. Uh... What did the Ice Golem just do? Okay, at least E-Drag is dead. The main concern is E-Drag in this matchup. You just want to kill the E-Drag as quickly as you can. Man, this little prince is kind of an issue too, though. Oh no, the Bloblitz. We have to Ice Golem. Hopefully it pushes this off the tower. Okay, we're not dead. Not alive either, though. Well, we are alive, but not looking good. <laughs> Gonna fireball all of this. The spawn heal from the battle here is kind of annoying in these types of matchups, to be honest. We have to try to pull this battle healer away. Oh no. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh man. Man, the bulbets do so much damage, what the heck? Okay, one hog hit. Two. Late tornado for him. I'll go for the musketeer a bit higher up. We have a chance. He has no tornado. Okay, we can just log fireball. And then hog rider. Okay, I think now he's already back to tornado. Yeah. We have to try to outcycle him. I think we might be in arrows fireball range. Yeah, we are in Arrow's Fireball range. Oh no, Hog Rider, please. We need Hog Hits. We need one Hog Hit. Just one Hog Hit. Okay, there it is. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.